Right, hi everyone, Holly from Diamond Painting Addict. Thank you very much for joining me back in my channel. I'm just going to move this wire, there may be a little bit of movement, bear with, because I feel like I'm going to accidentally drag it with my arm. There we go. <clears throat> right, this is a unboxing i say an unboxing an unpackaging um from dis paint and i don't even know what the date is today is it 24th of november this was ordered on the 28th of october and it arrived on 24th or 25th i can't even i don't even know what day it is at the moment it's tuesday the 24th, 25th, 23rd, something like that. Anyway, so it took a good month to get here. Um, I thought I'd be brave and actually order this before the 11th um, of November because I wanted to kind of miss the rush. But I think everyone else had the same idea and I don't think I did miss a rush at all. So it's been sat in customs for the last three weeks. So without further ado, let's get into this package so the reason these are like this is because i've actually ordered quite a lot of stuff from aliexpress um but they haven't all been diamond painting some of it is cross stitch so when i when this package arrived on my doorstep this morning it said cross stitch written all over it and then i opened the package and then these were together and i was thinking oh hang on these are very heavy doesn't feel like cross stitch and i think this is these are my diamond paintings so um let's let's just let's just get into them i don't know what they're going to look like being in bags it makes me nervous they're in bags and i've never ordered from this paint ever um but there's been raving reviews about them so i thought i'd give them a go yeah this is definitely done painting Okay, so I think what I've got is I've got um, I've got both of them together, but I seem to have like the drills here, um, like all the drills in this one here, and and then the drills, <clears throat> and then I think this is um, just one part. There must be. There must be other, <coughs> excuse me. So you must have the dome paintings and some of the drills must be in this one. Yeah, oh God. Oh, okay, so they've actually, okay, that's interesting. So they've actually put all of the, um, what do you call it? The diamond painting together. Um, okay, that's, that's cool. I get that. And then this is, <coughs> excuse me, I'm really getting over a cough and I'm cold at the moment. Okay, so basically this diamond painting is, um, I don't know if you've seen my other video where I put up a video of what you'd like me to do next. Um, it looks like I've only got one. Uh, oh no, I have got, oh, hang on, I've got loads. I was thinking, how have I only got one toolkit? Because they normally send you loads, but I have got loads of oh, gold. I don't need that many toolkits. So I've got three toolkits with this one. Um, and they give you the um, the rubber grip as well. Um, you've got the tray with a spout. I've done so many unboxing videos, and you've probably seen a million unboxing videos as well. Um, the Literally, these toolkits are generic. They're the same as everyone else's. Um, except the tweezers are a bit funky. I don't know if I like those tweezers. They're, um, they're not the best. They're, um, I don't know if you can see the, oh, I don't know if that's gonna, there we go. See, they're slightly rounded or angled at the end, but I don't know. They, they don't seem to have much grip. They seem to be quite, um, 
flimsy. So I think I'll stick to my Evermoment tweezers that I've got with them. I've got, oh, I've got black. Oh, this morning I felt so ill. I must have gone with some, oh, I'm just bed with some of my makeup on this morning. And what I've done is I've rubbed my eyes as I've woken up and I've got like literally bits of mascara on my, uh, my hands. And sorry about that, it's a bit minging, but I just feel totally run down. I work at a restaurant and <clears throat> This week at the restaurant, it's been um, hell, actually, the last couple of weeks because um, we've had a Victorian market on, so we've had more than 14,000 people at the Keys every single, well, every single weekend for the last two weeks. And um, obviously that has a knock-on effect for all the restaurants and we just seem to have like tenfold amount of people and you're running around a restaurant, literally running around a restaurant for 12 hours a day and I think I'm just completely spent, <laughs> literally spent, um, energy wise okay so let me just see what we've got so i just want to make sure i've got all the bits for this so as i explained in my other video i've got two two of the same things but different colors because i couldn't decide which color to get so i just got both and that's me written all over okay so that goes uh so I'm just going to see if I can um, move you in a bit so you can see a bit oh sorry it's there we go right <clears throat> okay so that one and that is part of this one that's fine L E one two three, four, five, there should only be five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to put those to one side, sorry I didn't mean to get my hand right underneath the camera then, it's just because it's, I've got this, for me to get the height, for you to be able to see this space, I have got um, my camera attached to like a, a two tiered um, shelving unit which is sat on my desk so obviously if my desk moves the shelving unit is going to move which means that my camera then moves so I didn't want it to move but then I ended up putting my hand right in front of the camera because I'm a complete din low. Um, Let's get these off. These are quite tight. Okay, so I should be, I should have 10 paintings with these. I'm just gonna move you out again. Just so you've got, I see what I mean about the movement. I'm really sorry about that. Let's stop over moving. Okay. Wow, these are so tightly packed. <clears throat> they are packed around a noodle so tightly, it's unbelievable. So, so tight. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm gonna do one at a time. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these back so that I can flatten them out. It will just be a lot easier to show you once they're all flat. I've never actually used this paint before. However, a lot of people have raved about them. So I thought I would... I thought I would give them a go and with regards to the delivery to be honest with the time the timing the obviously it coming into Christmas time which is the busiest time it still arrived in four weeks which isn't hideous um, you know that's that's still a decent amount of time isn't it really okay so that's number one 
and I, I, I get a lot of comments about my knives, um, where you would usually use a scalpel, I do have a scalpel. I don't anymore though, because my partner used it, and I've never seen it since, and he hasn't seen it either, so I don't know what he's done with it, but somewhere along the line he's borrowed it and then lost it at the same time. So I had to go down and use a kitchen knife, and actually it's quite a good knife, especially for um, doing... Um, sort of cutting through rivers and things because it's super sharp but I have a, I've had a few comments going oh your knife is a little bit big don't you think that's too dangerous and I said to many 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 people literally it was um what I had in the kitchen at the time when I needed it so yes it probably is and I wouldn't recommend using such a big knife however it's just what it is Okay, these um, are actually flattening out quite well. I'm going to enjoy doing these because they're nice and small and I spend a lot of time doing big diamond paintings and actually it's nice to kind of do something that's a little bit more manageable. I must admit the <clears throat> pasting area is is really quite clear. Let's see if I can show that to you. How clear is that pasting area? Oh, it's just swung down this side. It's really quite clear, isn't it? Just quite. I'm quite impressed with that. might try doing that again with a, a slightly smaller painting, a bit more manageable. <clears throat> but as it, I mean, I'm not going to, I tell you what, I'm not going to jinx it. <coughs> I've just said, I just thought, you know, they're really tidy canvases. There doesn't seem to be any real issues, but I don't want to jinx it really. So I'm just going to flatten them all down first. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, these are so wound tightly. I love the green in this. It's um, it's a really nice green. It's not like a lime green. It's more of an olivey green. And I, in Wheelcoats, I bought some really beautiful. Um, what were they? Vine like vinaigrettes, um, oil and vinegar. Um, what would you call them? Not jars, but they're um, like, oh God, I can't even think of the name. I literally, I cannot, I'm so tired, I can't even think of the name. Um, they're not containers, they're little glass um, bottles, that's it. And they have, so they're an olive green colour and then the tops are little glass birdies and they're really, really beautiful. And I thought I would um, buy those because I thought they would be quite nicely in my kitchen. Um, with And I've got the same um, olive colour green, like a, a bowl, a really beautiful, I think you'd call it like a fruit bowl. Really pretty. Um... I'm going to really enjoy doing these because it's just going to be nice to have a break from doing stuff that is so big. And these would be great for time lapse videos because, you know, two videos will do like one of these whole 20 by 30 centimetre pieces. Now I'm coming to the end of a couple of my other two of my time lapse videos I'm doing at the moment. I'm almost at the end of those. Yeah. 
Okay, so this one might be a nice one to just show you the drill field again because it's a bit more stable, a bit less flimsy than the other one. You've also got to be really careful when you peel these back because so you can so easily damage the, the glue when you do it. Okay, have a look at that. There we go, a nice clear drill field. Lovely. <clears throat> and this one's this um this one here has got a bit of a daisy on it. Um don't know if you can see that. And I absolutely love daisies. I love 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 daisies. I think they're so such friendly flowers. If that's even a a thing. So I think I'm going to spend all day diamond painting today. I've had a bit of an issue with my car. So I live in Maysmore in Gloucester. And um, <clears throat> some of you may have seen me on the news on <laughs> BBC Midlands because we got completely flooded out. And I, the ditzy cow that I am, decided at one o'clock in the morning when I'd finished work, I was so tired, I didn't want to drive a six mile detour to get to my house so I saw a car going down a um, a road closed sign which is literally the main road to get to me I mean it's only a it's not even a half mile road and I live at the end of that half mile road but instead of doing a six mile detour I thought I would follow everyone else and I would um, I would try it and I got my car stuck and then I had to physically push it out of the water to get it to dry land I didn't go that far in you know I only went in a few meters and I thought oh this is I've only got a Yaris a, a tiny little Yaris if it'd been a four by four it'd been absolutely fine um but Ditsy here went in a few meters and then thought no this is not a good idea um turn back so I put my car in reverse and boom, it bottomed out completely so I had to then push it out myself. I got out and um, the water was probably about, actually about that high. It's probably easier for you to see on the camera if I do it this high, like this, that angle. Um, so I had to then basically push it out as far as I could so that when the river came up a little bit more that it um, wasn't going to catch my car and left it there. I phoned my partner who couldn't do anything because he, um, you know, obviously, he, he hasn't got the best car. He's just got um, an, an average car. We, we don't have 4 by 4s even though we live in the country and I've got a horse. Um, so he was like, what do you want me to do? I can't do anything. I can't come get you. He can't walk the six-mile detour. And you can't walk down that road either because it was so flooded out. And it would have been really dangerous because at that point, you don't know where the river is and where the road is or the path because everything was completely underwater. So um, just as I was thinking, I don't know actually how I'm going to get home, two Irish guys rock up because they were going to, they live, well, they came from Ireland for the races at Cheltenham and they needed to go down that road because they had a hotel in course, which was about a mile on from me. And they helped me push my car off the road completely um, for overnight and then said, you know, do you want to lift? So then phoned my partner and said, can you pick me up from course, which is the opposite direction. These lovely guys are going to give me a lift, but they didn't know the area at all. So they were basically saying to me, thank goodness we found you. We've been driving around for over an hour trying to figure out a way around. We don't know the area. We, our sat nav has taken us here, there and everywhere. Yet every single road is either closed or flooded. And we just didn't know how to get back. So bless them. I mean, ordinarily, I wouldn't get in a car with two guys. I didn't know, <laughs> obviously. Um, but 
I mean, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna pick someone up for a not good reason, you're not going to do it down a road that's been closed, are you? Let's face it. And they did seem genuine enough, so I kind of risked it stupidly, but it was kind of my only option, I'm not gonna lie. How on earth would I have got home? I mean, I can't get home any other way other than phoning up the Coast Guard and flying me to my house. So yes, yeah, so that was the first thing, and then we got it. Um, we got my car towed out the next morning. Um, I, we did it really, really early because I didn't want anyone in the village to know it was my car because I was so super embarrassed. <coughs> and then a couple of days after, I hit a badger, so I messed my car up anyway. Completely trashed. Need a new radiator. Radiator has been shunted into my engine, um, so I actually don't have a car right now. But anyway, we digress. So. Um, Yes, I have done all of the um, peeling back of these diamond paintings. I always look at the back. The back will always give you a telltale sign of um, what the condition of the diamond painting is. And these all look beautiful. They don't seem to have any ribbers or anything in them. Um, no major issues. Even though sometimes when you get like, you know, when you have lifting of the back, sometimes on the back you'll have, you know, a river, a lifting on the back. Um, if you do what you would normally do for a river, so you turn it over and on the pasting area, you you horizontally um, with a knife, you, you almost cross with a knife and then um, through, and then use your um, diamond painting pen and then just scrape over the, um, the offending river. Um, when you actually put the diamonds on your painting, these, I've noticed, all of these rivers at the back disappear because of the weight of the diamonds, they weight it down. So, you know, it's not, if you've got rivers at the back of um, at the back of your diamond painting, it's not game over, honestly. Just do the painting. They will sit fine as long as you take the air out. Your, di your diamonds will sit flat. Um, but what you do need to do is when you've put them on your diamond painting, you just need to make sure that you... Um, you roll them with a diamond with a rolling pin to make sure that they are um, airtight against the um, pasting area. I don't. I've gone again. I've digressed again. I can talk for England. I'm sorry. Anyway, so um, coming back to coming back to the unboxing for this. So the um, the diamond paintings actually look amazing. I'm just really really quickly going to have a look at some drills because I've never used this company before. I just want to look at the condition of them. We'll go with pink. Pink's a good colour. We'll go with pink. Okay, so I mean they're not they're not too hideous. And you can see that. They're okay. There's not doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot of rubbish in them. They all seem to be a generic size, which is always good. Um, and then you get okay, and then you get one of these, which tells you how many jewels you should have, uh, inventory sheet. Um, how many packs you should have, um, which is great. So that's always good. And I, I love them when they've got these um, these codes on because that means that I can actually stick them onto my um, drill boxes. And I normally do that with blue tap so they can come off easily and I can reuse them. But yeah um, i'm not going to go into too much detail with the tools because everyone's seen the tools they're like very generic um but really happy with those like i said the only disappointing factor was the fact that it took about four weeks to get here but having said that um i know this time of year is an absolute manic time for customs um they actually left the country well having said that they didn't actually send them for about a week after i'd ordered them so they sent them and then I got my Ever Moment. So I ordered these the same day as I, I ordered my Ever Moment painting, which is the Spices ones. Um, which if you'd seen another video that I've done over um, about 
what diamond painting I should do next on a time lapse, you'll see that there's a beautiful Ever Moment painting of um, spices. I ordered that exactly the same time as I ordered this one, and that arrived as they were sending this. Um, so they didn't actually send this for about a week, so that kind of added to the delay slightly. However, it did then take another three weeks on top of that to get here, but I guess it is just customers, customs are massively over busy right now. But I will do another video on the organization of my beads or beads or of, um, my diamonds if anyone's interested in that and i think i am going to do a time lapse video on this because i think i'll get through these quite quick i'm going to enjoy doing it um yeah i think i'm definitely going to enjoy doing these it's going to be nice to do a smaller diamond painting definitely just to give you a break of something so mammoth i'm all of mine seem to be mam mammoth paintings but the reason i buy them like that is because I buy them for wall art for my house in the States. And as you can probably appreciate, the houses in the States are so much bigger. The wall space is so much larger. So you kind of then need to um, buy a bigger painting to kind of um, take that into consideration. But I'm really happy with this. I hope that I haven't bored you too much with my rumbling, I'm sorry. Um, but this is a dispaint painting. And um, yeah, I will come back with my new video once I've got everything organised and um, we're ready to go. So thanks so much guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!